Fuck it, what's the worst that could happen? Don't crash. I just teleported him with the entire base on his back. Watch it be gone. Oh my god, it's here. It's here. I teleported him! And the base! And welcome back to Ark, where today I'm going to be doing what I said I was going to do for once. Now we're going to hop on Archie here. You may notice I have a Pterodon now. I have a couple more flyers. I've been working on my uh, flyers. I wanted to have one of each flyer. But now that we also have the Flying Titan, I figured may as well make a place for it to dock. So I've put up another uh, platform here at the top of the tower and thrown a teleporter pad on it. Alright, so what we're going to do here is... What did I just do? What? How did I pull up one of the chibi displays? What we're going to do here is we're going to take the Desert Titan down. Just so that way I don't have to like keep teleporting back and forth from my base to the docking point. <clears throat> and now what we're going to do is we're going to set up on the back of him just a small base... It's not going to be anything too major. We're going to have, like, mostly a lot of this open still. Um, but yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Got way too close to my farm there for comfort. Um, yeah. This is good. I legit just straight up went through one of my Ovis, my Karakos farm and Ovis farm. You guys okay? Uh, let's collect some of the mutton. Now, the that farm, I only use it when I'm short on things right now, but we don't use the moss chop as quite often on that guy. That's because if we leave the Karakos farm, Karakos can survive and get fully grown and not starve to death for a very long time. So we got to, uh, we only let that run when we need it. But, as you guys can see here, we do got the Desert Titan. Now for, in terms of what I'm going to put on its back. I'm thinking just a simple 5x4 shack in the back. Two floor. Just some place where I can store food and fridges. Have a generator, uh, a grill, and some beds. I forgot to put Archie on not follow. Archie? Archie, where are you going? Archie, hey. Where, where are you going? Jetpack function. Ooh. Thank you. I can't land you on the back of the Titan. That's right. This is the freak out if you land them on the back of one of those. Um, works pretty good if you do it on the back of a like a Parasaur or something. You can land on things like that. Or I wonder if I put uh. Okay, that. So he settles back. Okay. I'm gonna get me a foundation. Or a couple. Okay, so I got my foundations. What we're gonna do here is uh, this. We hit six. Now we hit E. And back up. Okay. Gotta be very careful about this. Damn it, fucked it up. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay, so that's a little bit off. I need to actually pick this up. Okay, okay, I think I got one right in the perfect spot. Yeah, I think that's going to be perfect. Now, we don't want to do this here. Or maybe we do. Hold up. How many does it take for me to get... Okay, so this could be six wide. 
now let's try and get all the way to the back and see how well it lines up back there. So next, for all I know, this could be completely off once we get back here, like so. Like, I can't place anymore. Which, you know what, isn't bad. Hold up, I got an idea. What if I, instead, put a nice 2 by 3 building now, 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 now. So that would mean, hold up. I hit the wrong pause button at the wrong time. I gotta go get me some triangle foundations. You know, only got ten of these, so... I can go craft me more, but I only got ten for now. Let's go this way. Hold up, but I also gotta come out with this. Okay. Now, boom, boom, boom. Right? Like, could I pull this... There's no pulling that one off? No, there's not. Or maybe, hold up. If I could just get the foundation to... Look, I can pick this up. Why am I being an idiot? I always forget I can pick them up. Boom, and now... Okay. I could work with that. I'm fine with that. So what I need is... I need one more foundation for that. Yeah, I should be fine with the triangle on the front. Um, do I want to corner the front of these as well? I might try. I don't know. Um, you know what? I'm actually kind of vibing with that. I could vibe with this. Hold up. I could totally vibe with this. Um, because I can't finish you quite... I could actually totally finish you. But let's get this front end finished. Now, you just need one more foundation. Um, yep. That should... That should totally help. Alright. Let's... Of course, cap these in. Alright, I gotta go get more foundations. I think that works. I got an idea. Okay, so I got me some ramps. I just drank water. That's the wrong... I keep on hitting the wrong button today, too. This is just to make an ease of transition here. Let's switch variants up to... Tech stairs. You guys probably don't need to see this part. Okay, got them all swapped over. Now, I do got some railings. Um, we're gonna have to do it that way. Just to make these look okay, we're gonna have to have a gap. I can walk through the gap, oh my god. We might grab some pillars. Are you kidding me? There's already too many structures. I barely placed anything! <laughs> oh my god, what do you mean? I gotta figure this out. I cranked it for some reason. My platform structure limit was set to 1. I increased it to 5. Okay, we've loaded back in. Uh, textures haven't loaded in, but yep, there we go. We can place things again. Now, I don't know how I want to build this. I think I might know how I want to build it, though. Okay, I'm gonna go with those windows like so. What we're gonna do, though, is we gotta go put on the corner. So that way we can get the good-looking ones. That was the wrong one. That's the wrong one. There we go. Okay, so... I've not fully thought this part through, but... I got six ceilings here. That we're gonna do like so. Now, you might be wondering why only six. That's because I have some leftover stairs from when I was building the tower. That I would like to try and use. Like so. And boom, now we have a second floor. Um, again, I do plan on expanding this out. I'm gonna go get some more triangle ceilings. Uh, let me figure out though. I'm gonna need 14, I think, yeah? Alright, 14 was the right amount. But I also have the idea 
if it would let me. Boom, I fucked up. There we go. There we go. Now, what I had in mind was, we're gonna do the corners. I want A and B, right? Yeah, A and B like so. And then we'll have windows at the front and back. On the bottom floor, on the bottom floor. Top floor is gonna be different. Top floor is gonna be majorly different. That's the wrong one. I need B, D and C like so. Okay, now I'm gonna put in just normal tech walls here. Gotta make sure though that they snap from the ceiling and down. Cause again, that's on a different grid now. The bottom grid's a four. Of, like a, was it? Yeah, it goes by four. The top one's by three. So we're one wall shorter, which is nice. But I actually kind of I do like it. I am liking the interior. Where do I pop out though when I? Oh my! <laughs> this is gonna be perfect, cause I was gonna have a front deck, all right. So like, ah! What I was gonna do is going to have a wall go around like here, another glass wall around the front, and then ceiling. Alrighty, now I'm almost done. Here, I want you. Okay, I'd say you're the one that's on the wrong one. All right? Yeah, there we go. Now, I still have to put in the doorways, and I do have the doors for them. I want to do... Those lined up? No. This one is not. There we go. Now we can put in the doors. Now I also got the ones down here. What the hell did I just do? I ran around. I like, I rimmed it. Now, boom, and then of course, doors. And we're gonna leave the auto open settings on them. Now it's time for a roof. If these work like I hope they do. Boom, boom. Um, okay, can't do that there. How about you? Ah, hold up, We're, we might have to float around and do this one. What if I land here? Damn it, where'd that one go? Here we go. We might have to do some weird stuff. So that way. Hold up, why are you at like such a weird angle? That one worked out just fine. There we go. Alright. Now, off of those... Yes, I can. There we go. And then we get, we're just going to have to do ceilings up there. But yeah, we should be able to close this in. And we'd have a nice tech base on the back of the... Back of the Desert Titan. And it is looking pretty nice. And there we go. The ceiling is almost done. Should I go for a glass ceiling? I feel like it'd be pointless. Okay. So, now that I got all the stuff I need, let's go over here. Ah! In terms of the cryo fridge, I feel like a nice place to throw it would be... Just probably in here, just so that way it's safe as possible. Let's go throw it over one of the corners, like this. Like so. Boom. Now, bunk bed, and I also grabbed a tech bed. I uh, I might not use the tech bed here. I might use it in my my room up top. But there we go. Tech bed there. And then we are going to definitely keep the bunk bed in here. 
Because the bunk beds are awesome. They have a really quick recharge time on the, on the respawns. And I think it gives you two, actually. So. And of course, when you lay in the tech pod, it looks awesome. And closes. But then it opens up when you get out. And yeah. Uh, I think... I think I'm gonna just go with that for now. I don't know what else we'll put up here, but we have that. Um, then of course we got this, and then of course the generator, lastly. Now the generator, I wanna put here, okay? Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna split off 50 of this element, okay? Boom, activate. Now, the grill. The grill's like the one thing I don't know where to put. Cause this is good. Does that look okay? I mean, I feel like I feel all right with that. It looks a little wonky, but it works. Now that's just so that way if I have here again, like the bases everywhere else, just so that way if I have to respawn here, I have a place to store cryo or recharge cryopods. But now, lastly, we do got pillars and lights. Now, again, for the pillars, I feel like that helps fill the gap quite a bit, so yes. Yes, we're going to definitely do that. Definitely the pillars. Because that just fills the gap so that way we can't run through it. Because, like, come over here, this gap is so big. I squeezed through one of the other ones. I don't know why that one didn't work. It might be a little off. That other one might have been a little wider. And now, for these... I was wondering if maybe I could put them on the tops and make pillars that have lights. Okay, so... I've done this to all, of the, all three other pillars. And then, boom, that's the last one. Now, hopefully, at night, that looks pretty awesome. Now, I still have two lights left... Or, here. I'm not going to do lights here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do just a single light right here. If possible. Yeah, that's good. So, we're going to have to wait until night time to check out the lights, but oh, you know what, though? I got to. Because it's, it's going to bug me if I don't. Okay. So, I've done it. These are all on the four corners. So, that way, when I do that, <laughs> oh my god, I legit just phase through the bottom of this like I'm Link uh, from the new, uh, yeah, Tears of the King. Was it? Yeah, was it Tears of the Kingdom? I believe so. But yes, here is the new base. That would be, that is the new Desert Titan base. Um, I guess you can say on each side I have a nice landing pad and then a nice central base tower-ish in the middle. With all that. Um, yeah. Can I place a light on your forehead? No. I was hoping I could. I don't think I can. Can I place one here? Oh, I can't. Hold up. I want a headlight. Well, I'm gonna give him a headlight. Alright, buddy. Intensity? Just... Hmm. Hold up, before I crank it, how about let's just go intensity 3 like it was set. Because I got a feeling something bad's gonna happen if I go all the way up to 20. It's gonna be like, boom, the blinding light of God. Okay, there we go. Here, let's just crank you up. Let's go... Let's go nine. You're going to be three times brighter than all the other lights. Now, I gotta go... Ch I gotta go do some other stuff. Like, I got a bunch of Velanosaurs here I raised up. But I gotta go cryo up and move around. I got five males and five females, so I got a perfect army. And... Also, I got this to show you guys. You may notice... Ah! 
I didn't bother to breed up any more wyverns. Because I'm going to just go head back to Scorched Earth and get my three wyverns that are there. But, I got me a Tropia Goth, a Tapa Jar, a Phoenix, a Lymantri or a Moth, and a Pelagornis. Now, where is Gunner? Gunner? Gunner should have been there. I found Gunner. You are the biggest pain in my ass that's ever existed, my man. And it, you know what it is? It's just the fact that they, for some reason, fl are flying when they spawn in. Like, it won't spawn in like that. It'll be flying. And I think it's just, it's always when it's on structures. I think it's because the creature loads in before the structure does. And it causes problems. But, yeah. Alright, I got to go do this. And then I'll get back to you guys once it's night. I'm going to say this. I just realized we're on uh, extinction. There's no daylight. There's no nighttime. I'm waiting for nighttime. When the sky is constantly day. What we're going to do is this. It'll land on your back. Bucket, what's the worst that could happen? Don't crash. I just teleported him with the entire base on his back. Watch it be gone. Oh my god, it's here. It's here. I teleported him and the base. You don't understand how scary that was. Honestly. I have expected this thing to rip itself apart. But that worked. That should not have worked. I'm betting if it had anything, well, the element came with. But, oh my god. Okay. I definitely want to crank your guys' brightness up. Let's go six. Update done. Yeah, we'll just do this to all of you. Alrighty, here's a above image of it, the base. It looks decent. I gotta say this though, the tech lights don't seem to be that bright. Not at all. Um, I'm wondering though if it's because they're kind of clipping in between these in these structures. Um, in here though, it seems like it lit it up pretty decently. Like the entire down here looks bright. I'm not even gamma up right now. Here, I will gamma up now for you guys. Boom. That is gamma up. This is gamma up. Now, I also do realize this as well. There's a bunch of Rhino Nanthia around here. Um, and I got a feeling like a couple of them have gone out and attacking stuff. But I need to get them cryoed up here as well. Because I'd like to use them on the King Titan. Okay. Now, I do did manage to teleport back here again. Um, but that, that means this thing did survive two teleports. No damage. I don't want to... The only time I will ever risk this again is getting it over to the snow biome for the Ice Titan fights. That's the only time. Because this is going to be my safe point where I can respawn... And all that, I'm gonna have him like up in the sky as a, like a respawn point with uh, several armor sets on him. Because I've been told the Ice Titan will freeze me in place and then proceed to just smack me to death. Now, this base was technically essential. Um, I don't want to put one on the Forest Titan or the Ice Titan. I might though, if you guys ask really nicely. Uh, but yeah, here is the. This is the Desert Titan base. That's gonna probably be it for this episode.